the thing that attracts me to glass the most is how it forces you to be in the present. Glass is a really demanding, unforgiving, and kind of dangerous process. So you have to have all of your attention and you need to be focused while you're creating a glass piece. So it just forces you into the present. It's like a meditation almost, and it keeps you centered. And uh, I think that's one of the big reasons why I'm so attracted to the material and I keep going back to it every day. I work with glass all the time. Some people would say it's obsessive. I work from eight to five all day making glass. I'll come home from work, grab a quick bite to eat, and then go to my personal studio and continue to make artistic glass. I've always been interested in miniatures. Um, there's a different type of skill that's required in making really tiny things. So I feel like making these really tiny miniatures for artistic glass purposes have helped me be able to make smaller scientific glass as well. There's so many different ways that glass is affecting science right now. This could be known as the glass age that we're in. Being able to work one-on-one -on -one with researchers uh, on new ideas and help them with their research is incredibly rewarding. There's a certain type of satisfaction in that that I just don't get out of making artistic glass. To me, nature is just incredibly effortlessly beautiful and I try to stick to those details and just challenge myself by being true to the form of the animal or the plant that I'm working on. So the creative glass challenges me in a way that scientific glass can't challenge me. This butterfly piece, Metamorphosis, is really special to me and I feel like it blends together a lot of things that I've learned from scientific glass and a lot of things that I've learned from artistic glass and it fuses the two styles. Really the only thing that limits you with making glass is your imagination. One of the techniques that I am really proud of is getting animals or miniatures inside of these big globes that I do. Uh, it's, it's a tricky technique in getting something inside of the globe and not having any seal marks or seams. And I feel like I've pioneered that in a way, at least doing it by hand. The technique in itself is really challenging for me and it always keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Anytime I'm around people who are interested in glass and different glass techniques, I feel like I'm related to them in a way. And we're both really passionate about the same type of thing. And if I can help someone become a better glass blower or inspire them in some way, I mean, to me that's the biggest compliment. I'm just satisfied at making a beautiful object and putting another piece of beauty into the world. <laughs>